Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a video, I don't know what I'm going to call this video, but I basically wanted to go through all the products that were going on sale for the Ultra 21 Days of Beauty and kind of give you guys my opinion. Now I know a ton of these videos are going to be going up and I don't know, I have just not been shopping at Ulta and Sephora lately. And I think there's a few reasons why. I think I'm really attracted to indie brands right now. So I've been shopping predominantly on indie websites, but I feel like this Ulta 21 Days of Beauty thing is really kind of a scam if you think about it. It's a really good way to keep you shopping for 21 days, which is insane. And some of these deals aren't even that great. And some of these are returning deals. Like these are the ones they have all the time. So if you miss out this in the spring sale, maybe that's okay because you might be able to just pick it up in the fall. It's one of those things I feel like that really caters to people that are in, like fall for FOMO. And I've done it too, don't get me wrong. I've tried a lot of these products and it's because they go on sale every single time Ulta 21 Days of Beauty comes around. So I'm not gonna sit here and preach and preach and preach, but I would just make sure that whatever you're buying you actually really need because it's a really, really good way to kind of draw you in first of all to go in store because you'll see something is ten dollars and go in store to buy it and then you might see 30 other things that you wanted to pick up and then you might end up buying it because you're already in store and if it's an online exclusive you might end up buying something online but then you want to get free shipping so you add like eight things to your cart to qualify for free shipping i've definitely done both of those things i'm definitely guilty of all of that and you know, they're not really doing these sales out of the goodness of their heart. You know, they're not trying to make you feel like it's all about you. It's really all about Ulta's coin and all these brands. So let's go through some of this stuff. So the sale starts Sunday, March 18th. And the first two things that are on sale have been on sale before. So the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara is going to be $10 and it's regularly $23. Now, I have tried this mascara multiple times. I think $10 is not a bad price for a mascara, especially if you are a huge fan of this particular mascara, and I know there are many people that love this mascara. So definitely, if you love this mascara, this is your holy grail mascara, you should go ahead and pick it up. I personally will not be purchasing it. I like my drugstore mascara, so this isn't one that really gets me. And the 8 ounce Philosophy Micro Delivery Exfoliating Face Wash for $14. Now this is half off and I actually picked this up last year during one of the 21 Days of Beauty sales. And honestly, it is a pretty decent exfoliating product, but it, you're not going to get through this very quickly. If you already have a product in your shower that is an exfoliator, you probably don't need this one. The granules are really, really small, so it gets in your eye quite a bit, so that's something you need to be aware of, but I don't know when I'm gonna get through this bottle because you get a lot of it, and usually you don't need to exfoliate your face every single day, so it's been really tough for me to get through it, and honestly, if I could go back, I wouldn't repurchase it because it's just not my favorite exfoliator. If you guys are really dying to get it, I would honestly maybe even split it with a friend because you get so much product, you're probably not going to get through it anytime soon if you just buy it for yourself. Or maybe that's just me because I'm really like sparing when it comes to my products. I don't know. I just don't think anyone needs either of those products. So on Monday, March 19th, the Benefit Cosmetics 24-hour brow setter is $12 and that's 50% off. I believe they just relaunched this after it was recalled last year. If you guys didn't know, it got recalled for some reason and you couldn't buy it, but now it is back. I believe this is that same product, correct? me if I'm wrong. I think it's a good deal if you don't have a brow product that you use to set your brows. I personally really like the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. Now I have used the Benefit one as well and I don't really think one is significantly better than the other but the Anastasia one is just what I've used for a long time and I personally don't care for Benefit as a brand so I would say just get the Anastasia one. Um, it Cosmetics, nobody cares. Pure 4-in-1 Mineral Powder, nobody cares. Clinique 3-Step Introduction Kit for drier skin and oilier skin are going to be $9.75. So these are half off. I am actually not a huge fan of Clinique skincare. I know some people swear by it. So it just kind of depends for me. I just never 
find anything that actually works on my skin so I'm gonna be passing on that and I think you should too with skincare I really don't think you should get anything unless either it's something you've had your eye on or it's something you want to test or it's something you know already works for on your skin you should not buy it just because it's on sale because if it doesn't work out for you it's like such a waste of money and if you do buy something on sale that doesn't work out for you just know that you can still return that stuff just keep your receipt and they will let you return it so just a little tip from a shopaholic Wednesday March 21st Smashbox photo finished primer water is $16 I honestly just restocked my photo finish primer water. Smashbox had it on sale for $16 a couple of weeks ago, so I purchased it. I do really like that product. I know some people think it's just water in a bottle. I personally feel like it does do something and does help my makeup last longer. So I was happy to buy it on sale. I would never purchase it full price. So if you've been thinking about trying it or it's something that you already love, that's a great time to pick it up. I don't know anything about Proactive, so I'm going to skip those. So on Thursday, March 22nd, Buxom's full-on lip creams will be $10. Now, I've picked up the lip creams previously. I picked up a few different colors. The color I really like for my skin tone is the shade Dolly. So if you're tan, I would recommend it. But honestly, it's not something you need, need, need. It's just if you have something where you have a need for a lip gloss in your collection I would recommend it otherwise it's not something you need to try or anything and that same day the Clarisonic Mia 2 skincare system is on sale for $119 now I feel like I bought my Mia 2 for cheaper I do like having a Clarisonic I also used to own the Foreo and I didn't really like that um, I do like the Clarisonic better and I use it pretty much every day and I, I do see a difference in my skin but I feel like Sephora had it on sale during the holidays for a lot less. So even though it is a good deal at $119, I feel like you might be able to find an even better deal if you just hold off. But uh, don't quote me on that. Friday, March 23rd, Urban Decay Cosmetics Single Eyeshadows are $10. This is kind of intriguing for me because Urban Decay Single Eyeshadows were some of the first eyeshadows I ever bought that were high-end. I bought the shades like Baked, Half Baked. Um, and some other shades and they were so wonderful and just worked so well over the years. I don't really use single eyeshadows anymore. I'm definitely a palette girl now so I don't personally plan on picking up any of the single eyeshadows. If you are into really 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 minimal makeup it almost still doesn't make sense because if you buy four shadows that's $40 and you can buy like the Anastasia Soft Glam palette for that and that'll have everything you need so I have a hard time justifying that. The Exuvian's Performance Peel, I don't know what that is. Saturday March 24th, Stila All Day Waterproof Liquid Liner. Again that's one of those things that everyone swears by but I personally did not like so I don't need any of that. Purity made simple cleansing cloths, I've heard good things but $7.50 for a bunch of cleansing cloths is just too much for me. Sunday, March 25th, It Cosmetics Don't Care. Monday, March 26th, Becca Backlit Priming Filter is $19 as well as the First Light Priming Filter. I have both of those and I like them, but are they the best primers in the world? Definitely not. I honestly am not a huge believer in primers. I just really like the Becca brand, so I kind of got sucked in. Personally, I would not put my money towards these primers unless you feel like you need an illuminating primer, which going into summer is hard to imagine unless you have super duper dry skin. And the purple one is cool, but I, I don't think it's very good. So I would honestly stay away from both of those. And then uh, Lancome Hypnosis Drama Instant Full Volume Mascara. I've never tried that mascara, but again, I just like drugstore mascaras and I don't really feel the need to buy high-end mascaras even if they are on sale for $13.75. Tuesday, March 27th, we have Lorac Pro Contour Palette with Contour Brush for $20. Now, I feel like the Lorac Pro Contour Palette has gone on sale so, so many times and I feel like there's definitely a reason for that. I also do feel like contouring is kind of a dying trend. I don't know if people do it as much as they used to. I personally don't contour as much as I used to. I recently decluttered my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette and then I found it at TJ Maxx for 20 bucks so I bought a replacement 
and I haven't even touched the replacement and I'm kind of ashamed of myself for having repurchased that because I'm really not into contouring as much as I used to be so I feel like that was a waste and honestly you probably don't need this palette because you probably have a million contours in your collection already. Now the next thing that's on sale is the Stila Convertible Colors. These look like awful cream blushes. Honestly, I'm not a fan of the Stila brand. I don't even think I've ever talked about Stila on my channel unless it was a video like this. I wouldn't recommend buying anything from them. There's nothing I've tried except actually the glitter and glows. I do talk about the glitter and glows. Those are pretty good. But I did find an affordable dupe for those as well in case you guys are curious. These Pixie Fairy Light Liquid Fairy Lights are so good and these are only 15 bucks a piece at Target. 100% amazing dupe to the Stila Glitter and Glows if you guys are interested. Sorry, that was a random side note. Wednesday, March 28th. Tarte, Tardis Double Take Eyeliner, Don't Care. Estee Lauder Travel Skin Size, Travel Size Advanced Night, Nobody Cares. Thursday, March 29th, Benefit Cosmetics Roller Lash, Super Curling and Lifting Mascara. Now, I think I bought some of this in the last sale as well, and it actually happens to be the tube of mascara I am using, is the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. And I really, really feel like I used to like this more than I do now, which is why I bought two of them, but Honestly, I don't like them as much. I feel like they separate my lashes really well, but other than that, it doesn't do anything for my lashes, so I kind of regret having purchased them, and I would not recommend it to you guys. Even though it's a good deal, it's just not a good idea. The Murad Cl Acne Control Clarifying Cleanser is honestly amazing if you have acne-prone skin. I finished up one tube and I decided not to repurchase and I feel like I almost immediately felt a change in my skin. I like to use it. It literally is a great acne control face wash and I think it's a total must-have. So if you can get it for half off at 15 bucks, it's definitely a steal and I would recommend it to you guys 100%. The Friday, March 30th sale is the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Longwear Lipsticks. I'm not a fan of Too Faced. Peter Thomas Roth Unwrinkled Peel Pads. Again, I'm not a huge fan of Peter Thomas Roth skincare. Personally, it's never really worked for me in any sort of amazing capacity, so I'm not planning on purchasing that. And Saturday, March 31st, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz is $10.50. I know a lot of people love that deal because a lot of people love the brow wiz. Personally, I use ABH's powder to do my eyebrows, so I don't want to pick up the brow wiz. Sunday, April 1st, Bare Minerals Foundation Primers. No real uh, interest in picking that up. Monday, April 2nd, the Butter London Glaze Eye Gloss and Lip Glazers. Uh, lip Glaze are both on sale for half off. The eye glazers are a really cool concept, but basically it gives that wet look on your lid, I believe, is what it is. And it has like a putty-like consistency. It kind of looks like the Farsali highlighter, the Jelly Bean highlighter. Um, I don't think I would ever enjoy using that, even though it seems like a really cool concept. So I'm just going to pass on both of those items. And then the Shiseido Urban Environment Oil-Free UV Protection SPF is on sale. No interest in that. Tuesday, April 3rd, Laura Geller Bake Blush and Brightens are on sale for $14. I actually bought all of those uh, when they were on sale in the last 21 Days of Beauty, and I ended up returning them all because, first of all, it's excessive to buy all those blushes, and I just didn't think they looked that great on my skin. They weren't very flattering. The tones were just not my favorite, and I felt like there was a lot of shimmer in them. So I was personally not a huge fan, and I ended up taking them back. Now, if you have swatched these in person, I would recommend getting them if you really wanted them. But if it's something that you're like, ooh, I can get all of them because they're only $14 a piece, I would not recommend it because it's just going to be a huge waste of money. Or just get one. Just get one. Don't be like me. Don't be excessive. Um, on Wednesday, April 4th, Lipstick Queen Frog Princess Lipstick for $12.50. No, thank you. Dermablend Loose Setting Powder is $13.50. Now, I did buy the Dermablend Loose Setting Powder because everyone was raving about it on YouTube last year. But, of course, 
as per usual nobody's talking about it this year so if you already have a loose setting powder just stick to it don't fall for the hype and buy another loose setting powder you don't need options when it comes to loose setting powder okay if you have one and it works for you just keep using it finish it up and then try something new there's no need to keep buying backups and backups of shit that you're not even going to get to Thursday, April 5th, Urban Decay eyeshadow primers. Not a huge fan of Urban Decay's eyeshadow primers, plus it takes forever to get through an eyeshadow primer. Trust me, I know I'm trying to pan my MAC paint pot, and I've had the thing for at least a year, or coming up on a year, and I'm like barely making a dent in it right now. So don't buy eyeshadow primers as backups. Only get it if you need one. If you don't need one, I think just stay away from it. Even though it's like a decent product, it's just, it's not worth it. I would pass. Friday, April 6th, the Tarte Tardis Quick Dry Matte Lip Paint. I can't support Tarte, guys. I'm over it, so I'm just going to skip that whole situation. Saturday, April 7th, MAC Prep Plus Prime Fix Plus is $13. Now, that is super intriguing. That is like the one thing... That kind of gets me because I love MAC Fix Plus and it's really cool because obviously MAC wasn't sold at Ulta during the previous 21 Days of Beauty. I don't think this is probably the first time that MAC has been at Ulta and included in the sale. And you guys, I love Fix Plus. Like, I love <laughs> Fix Plus. It's an amazing product. It works really well for me. They don't promote it as a setting spray but I think it works as a setting spray, as a priming spray, as something to foil your eyeshadows with. It's wonderful and I would recommend picking it up and tying it out at $13. I think that's definitely worth it. And then the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara is $11.50. Again, it's not my favorite mascara by any means. I don't like the brush. It's very thick and goopy and messy and I'm just not a fan. So. I'm going to be skipping out on that as well. So I went through all 21 days. I can't believe it. I did skip some where I didn't see anything I liked. The only deal I think is great that I would honestly want to take part in would be the Fix Plus because I think a lot of people in the YouTube community and the beauty community in general really enjoy that product. I think that's one that's actually a hit. Um, that it's great to be able to pick up on sale. I personally won't be buying anymore because I have so many backups of Fix Plus and I just have so many setting sprays in general that I kind of want to try and use up so I can like move on with my life and uh, try different things. Uh, but yeah, that is basically it. I thought they were going to have a sale for the Tarte Shape Tape. I thought that was going to be part of 21 Days of Beauty. They made a big deal about that, but I don't know if I just missed it in this long list I'm just looking on line I can't find the catalog online to save my life on what's on sale for 21 days of beauty so if I missed any good deals definitely remind me down in the comments but hopefully you guys enjoyed my two cents on this again you guys the sale is just a kind of a trap and you gotta watch out um, a lot of these things you don't need they're just trying to convince you you need it because it's a way for them to get you in store. It's a way for them to get you to shop online. So buyer beware. And let me know if you have any questions on the products. I'm just going to hop off now because I can't stop blabbering. Okay, so I'm going to go. Thank you so much and hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye guys.